Let's go. Because Let's we're going to go, go see Chef Amy here in the kitchen. She has it all laid out. It's so pretty. It's all ready to go. Um, during daybreak, Randy, Chef Amy and I were saying these are so great because there's really no right or wrong way. There's Good. no rules, like right, Amy? Well, there, there are no... some oh, rules there, which are, are going to go over, but they're very loose rules. Okay. Loose I mean, rules. loose rules. Loose rules. Okay. Right. I mean, loose. Very loose. Okay, very right. loose. So, we have been doing charcuterie box kits lately. <gasps> oh, I so we've been doing like this? a virtual cooking class with this. So I wanted to show you kind of like what kind of goes in our kits. Please but do. this is how it comes. It's all refrigerated, ready to go, sealed and everything. Wow. Everything in that charcuterie kit is on this charcuterie board right now. That's all. And it wow. looks so pretty. I know. And I did it this in like five minutes. So imagine if I had ten. Kind of like, <laughs> to my, figure my, out. Makeup. <laughs> like my makeup. Kind I would say it took as long to do this charcuterie board. Board as it was your makeup. <laughs> so um, let's kind of go over the let's rules do it. and then later I'm going to have you guys make a charcuterie board. Okay. Ooh. So things that you want to remember. So right now everyone's kind of getting into gatherings again. Yes. So this charcuterie is a great way to kind of bring people in. It's not like a formal dinner. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that again that you're just bringing people right, over to drink and to have a little bit of grazing. So is again, it all about balance? It's all about balance. It's balancing the sweet and the savory the salty, together. Yes. The thing that I love to talk about on the charcuterie board is don't put your hard cheeses in the middle. Okay. Oh, so why you put is your that? soft spreadable cheeses in the middle so that way it's easy and that way you don't have Aunt Edna in there <laughs> and she's got the hard cheese and she's all over everything in here trying to get into it. So yeah, Randy, yeah, that's you. That'd be, that'd be me. All right. So what I've done is I've done like a spreadable soft gouda right in the middle so it's really easy so that way it's accessible. So yes. you want to make sure that it's not too intimidating for people so that they don't even eat it. Yeah. Is it a texture thing too? Because I know some people say you want to balance the textures. Yeah. You want that you soft, want creamy. soft cheese. You want some hard cheeses. So again, the hard cheese is on the outside of the board and then I've got some dried fruits and some grapes oh, yeah, that are fresh nuts. fruit the nuts that are nice and crunchy salty and sweet you want on the board I like adding some jams to it that way you can put it onto crackers and then you've got some like stone ground mustards that you can do okay yes, can Randy. we oh Randy what? has a question well, you know how I would do that I would color coordinate it okay the but colors okay go well if I would say yes on that, but you also want to have the balance too. So, so not all the red. You don't here. want all the red oh, cheeses or all okay. the orange cheeses or all the white cheeses. You do want to spread it out. Unless it's like a rainbow charcuterie board, oh. and you want now, to group now, them together. Now, Randy, for for your type. Your type, yeah, <laughs> whatever the yeah, type that is. Like that, yeah. um, I like to kind of like add like a little oh. bit where I can either. Is this chalk? Yeah, this is Wait, kind of like what? a chalk. So I can kind of map out what I want to Look do with that. the charcuterie. Like oh, I'm going to put talk. my smoked gouda there. I'm going to put my smoked cheddar right here. And that way you can kind of map it out. And again, this easily comes off and you can overlap it so you don't even see it. Or you can add like words to it. Of course, that's that's my beautiful handwriting right there. <laughs> Does that say cheese? Yeah, that says cheddar. <laughs> and then Shanna. also, you don't even have to have like a slate or wooden board. You can use a mirror. You can oh. use, you know, I got this at Hobby Lobby. What, for what do you use a mirror for? That you can add, to, so you can put the food, the charcuterie oh. on here. Oh. So that way you don't have to have oh, like a wooden board. Right. Easy to clean. You can do different levels. You can oh, have a dessert like charcuterie up top. Then you can have a regular charcuterie at the bottom if you want to get fancy. And then, or if you want it for a larger crowd, I mean, we have done charcuteries for a long island and like just filled the island huh. with charcuterie. Now, obviously, you don't, if you're feeding two people, you don't do that. Right. But um, it can get expensive. So you just, you have to know your budget. Don't get too crazy with your budget. But again, all these things you can find at your grocery store. Um, you can do some fancy things. We'll kind of talk about this a little bit later, what you can do with know, the like um, salami that. and folding. And like what wine goes with what stuff on the charcuterie. Hmm. So we'll talk about that and how to take care of your board. So 
Well, I mean, you, you would just impress. If you did, Randy, you would look so Randy, fancy. I did this in so five ritzy. minutes, six minutes. With your my, friends? My, yeah, my wife would be shocked. I know. She would fall over. Well, you're going to practice soon, so okay, that way you can right, take I'm it ready. home yes. with you. And I'm that ready. way you'd be like, I made this. <laughs> and, you know, and, and this is just something that is super this. easy to do. Anyone can do this, all right? Honey, Even look if at it's this. like Ritz crackers on there, you can do it. Ritz crackers, Velveeta, put it on a board. I would love right. to see. Yes, <laughs> Randy Aulis, what would be the number one thing on a Randy Aulis charcuterie board? Donuts. Do I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Well, you could I do. Can you do like a dessert? You could totally do a donut. Board? Could you really? Yeah, you could. I mean, you'd have to get With a bigger charcuterie. With cheese in the middle of the donut hole. Ooh. Oh, you could get okay. cronuts, different kinds of donuts, and just make sure they're all nice and leveled, and oh, add a little bit my of goodness. lavender in there. Boom, it's done. Anessa, right. we are just getting started over here, <laughs> and then coming up. So you guys are going to build one, yes, and put one together minus the donuts. Yes, so, Anessa. Yeah. I wish. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs>